This is power rankings 10 through one. It is not standings. It is not the current standings. If you want that, Google it. Open up the MLB app and go look at standings. This is power rankings. And it's not just the current form. It's not just the last week. It's not the last 10 games. It's not, it's over the course of the season. So as we get as far in as we are now, things are going to slow down a bit. You know, we're not going to see this massive movement that we see at the beginning of the year because there's teams that have been at the top all year long that might not be playing great that deserve to get bumped down a little bit, but they ain't going to go super far. Anyway, I digress. Let's talk top 10, and we're going to start at number 10 with those San Diego Padres. I moved them down one spot from where they were last week. Um, they're 74 and 58 on the year, five and five in their last 10. So they're just playing okay. They they did win two out of three against Minnesota. Then they split with the New York Mets. Um, right now in that in a pennant race, you can't split that series with the Mets at home in San Diego. Luckily, they came away with a split. Jackson Merrill doing what Jackson Merrill does best and hitting that uh, huge late homer for them to end up splitting that series. Anyway. Padres have been good over the last few weeks, but over the last week and specifically last 10 games, just so-so. I did bump them one down because there's a couple teams that I ended up bumping up. At number nine, I'm going the Houston Astros. Again, down one spot from where they were last week, from eight to nine. They're 70 and 60. They're five and five in their last 10. They lost two of three to Boston, and then they split with Baltimore. So I did move them down one. Uh, I, I think if we're talking current form oh, since the all-star break, obviously the Astros are way better than that. But since the all-star break, they have crept up and more and more into these power rankings and have been sitting there anywhere from six to 10 of late. So let's move on to number eight. Up two spots to number eight, the Kansas City Royals, 72 and 58, seven and three in their last 10. They won two of three against the Angels. They did lose two of three to Philly, but a very good team there with the Phillies. The Royals have been fantastic of late and are really pushing hard for a playoff spot. Absolutely. Bumped them up because I think they're playing really well right now. Again, seven and three in their last 10. Uh, let's move on to number seven. This is where I have the Arizona Diamondbacks currently. They were not ranked last week, so this is a pretty big bump up in the power rankings. Um they're seven and three in their last 10, 15 and five in their last 20 best record in baseball since June 1st. Prior to that, I don't know where they were in the power ranks, but not in the top 10. They did get into the top 10 bumped out after like a, a few games of a bad stretch, but now they're back in big time here at number seven. They swept the Marlins swept Miami and then swept Boston. They won every single game this week. Best team in made or last week. Best team in Major League Baseball since June 1st again, so I do have them here at number seven for what they're currently doing. At number six, uh, at 75 and 55, the Cleveland Guardians, I did keep them put. No huge movement for them, no movement at all, I might say. Four and six in their last 10. They lost two of three to the Yankees, then one, two of three against the Rangers. They've been one of the best teams in baseball all year. Not as good of late, though, so they're in danger of falling a bit lower. Um, but again, kept them here at six with what they've done over the course of the season. Uh, obviously, a 75 wins tied in the win column with the Diamondbacks, uh, but one less loss. Again, overall record doesn't necessarily factor in, um, but kept the Guardians here at six. Let's go to the top five down one spot from where they were last week. The Milwaukee Brewers also 75 and 55, seven and three in their last 10 games this week. They lost two of three to St. Louis, one, two of three against Oakland. Nothing crazy. They have been one of the best teams in baseball since that June 1st mark for a few months. The Brewers are going to win the NL Central. They're the only team that has really run away with the division. They have a massive lead there. Brew Crew winning the NL Central. They kick off the top five. And number four, up a spot. The Philadelphia Phillies, 76 and 54, six and four in their last 10. They did lose two of three, lose two of three to the Braves. Then they won two of three against the Phillies again, or not against the Phillies. They won two of three on their weekend series. Um, so they're playing much better. Look, the Phillies have been one of the best teams in baseball over the course of the season, but of late, not quite as good, but picking it up a little bit, move them up one spot to number four, down to down to number three, down two spots, the Baltimore Orioles four and six in their last 10. They lost two of three to the Mets. Then they split with Houston. Haven't been playing very well. 
I kept them there at the top because nobody was really taking the reins. But now I've bumped them down two spots. Playing okay. Not great. Pretty poor baseball for them over the last month or so. So I have the Orioles at number three. At number two, I'm going to go with the Los Angeles Dodgers. They're 7-3 and three in their last 10. They are 78-53. and 53. Uh, They won two of three against Tampa Bay. They swept the first series of the week. They've been absolutely in fuego since Mookie Betts came back. Now they have all, all, their, all their squad in the lineup. Uh, they're studs. Mookie, Shohei, Freddie Freeman playing really well. Pitchers are starting to get healthier. So... Obviously, Shohei entering the 40-40 club with that walk-off grand slam. Vibes are high for the Los Angeles Dodgers right now. And they're sitting here at 78 wins. The most wins in all of baseball. But at number one, up one spot, I do have the New York Yankees. 77-54, and the best record in the American League. Really grabbed control of the American League East. They won two of three against Cleveland. They won two of three against Colorado. They're playing really well. Aaron Judge and Juan Soto are doing things that have never been done before in the game of baseball. They're the best one-two punch in Major League Baseball. They're one of the best one-two punches of all time. Um, I mean, seriously. Aaron Judge and Juan Soto are a, a top three one-two punch of all time. Absolutely. So... Yankees are playing well. Dodgers are hot on their heels. I really struggled with that one and two. But with the Orioles playing poorly, I bumped both of those teams up one. But the Dodgers, if you're if you're anywhere, if you can inch closer to a team, if it's possible to inch closer and narrow the gap from where you were, the gap was one. The Yankees and Dodgers were two and three. Now they're one and two. But the Dodgers have narrowed that gap with the Yankees. I think they're neck and neck. And if the Dodgers have another good week, I wouldn't be surprised at all if they are number one in my power rankings next week. I know many of you are going to say now the Dodgers should be number one. Uh, I really like what the Yankees are doing offensively right now. And uh, I think they should still be in that top spot for right now. So that's my top 10. Padres at 10. Astros, Royals, D-backs. Best team in baseball since June 1. Guardians, Brewers, Phillies, Orioles, Dodgers, and Yankees. That rounds out the top 10 for this week.